use the appropriate formula on the reference sheet, like we're telling you to use the reference sheet, um, to find, and then they tell you all this stuff, right? Now have a look at all the information. This is the clue that tells you which part of the reference sheet is useful to you. Finding years, correct to two decimal places, okay, that's less interesting. Here it goes, the time it takes for an investment. So I just want to make sure I've got full attention, because evidently we didn't do well in this question. Time it takes for an investment to double in value at a rate of interest. And then it gives you all the details about the interest. So if you're looking for an investment and it's got interest applied to it, which is the only formula that tells you anything about that? It's the compound interest formula, right? That's it, that's, that's all that's happening. There's no annuity, there's no like, I'm putting in extra stuff, right? So the compound interest formula is this guy. Do you agree? Like it's just there, right? Okay, so how do we use it? So I put that. And then I put 1.05 in the middle of this. Okay, all right, right. So let's let's start to unpack this, right? So the 1.05 is correct. Where does it come from? And the answer is it comes from this part here. 5% yeah, five percent interest. That's a one plus a 0 0.05. So I agree with Serene that that'll be a 1.05. And then the rest. Okay. Right. okay now, <laughs> the rest. Where did that come from? All right. Well, the first thing I notice is have a look at the question. What is the question asking us to find? Like in words, what's it asking for us? The years. The number of years, right? Which part of this equation tells you years? It's n, right? So this thing here is the unknown. So therefore, it just it just stays put. Okay. Right, does that make sense? Now, then when you have a look at the other part, A and P, how do I work out those? Look at the question again. It says, we want an investment to do what? Double. Double in value. So how does that interact with this A and this P? What does that tell us, Tavar? Very good, yeah. So this amount that you want to end up on, you just want it to be double whatever you started with. Do you agree? Okay. So we want 2P over here and this P just stays put. Because like, I don't know how much they invested. It could be anything, right? Right, so that's why I can divide both sides by P. You can do that because P is not zero, right? So I get this. And then you're like, well, what do I do with this guy? It's an exponential equation, but I want to make N the subject. So what do I do? Wait, sir. Yeah. That's 2P, right? What was 2P? This guy here. Two lots of P. Yeah, two times P. Right? No, no, no. Think, look again, look again, right? What, and I even said it, right? What's the operation that I did to both sides? Yeah, very good. From here to here. I did not do any subtraction. I did, I did division, right? Because P is a factor of both sides. So I'm dividing through. I'm not subtracting P. This is P times, right? So I have to divide through. So that's why divide through by P, divide through by P. Is that okay? Yeah. I still haven't got a clear answer. What am I going to do with this to get N? Yeah. I'm going to use log laws, right? Well, I'm going to use the definition of a log. I can write N equals log base what? 1.05, right? 1.05. The base becomes the base. And then there's only one number left. Right? Now, you need your change of base law to actually do that in your calculator because your calculator doesn't have that. So I would write that as log 2 on log 1.05. Right? The bottom goes to the bottom, the top goes to the top. And then you get, and then you get what? 14.2, all the stuff. Okay? All right. If you didn't have this working, well, let's have a look. So this is two marks, this question, right? How important do you think the final answer, 14.21, is? How important is that? I mean, it's, it's the answer, right? How, how much do you think it's worth? If you saw a student, if you were marking and you saw a student and they just wrote down this, just out of thin air, right? What would you give that? Our problem, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be wanting to give them at least one, like that's, that's come from somewhere. But I don't have any working to show how they got there. So I would say you'd need to have at least some of it, right? Um, this is, this here is a pretty critical line. This is a pretty critical line. But honestly, I don't know how you get from here to here without doing some of that stuff in the middle anyway. 